So Windows 11 is out, and with that comes a couple of little hardware requirements that some people probably weren't expecting. One of them is the TPM module, and I don't know where even this, where this uh, processor is actually not supported, but don't fret, there is a way through. Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing okay and staying safe these days. So as you can see here, I do have an AMD Ryzen 7 1700 first generation 8-core processor. And believe it or not, this is actually not on the requirements for Windows 11, so it will not actually allow me to install or even upgrade to Windows 11 on this particular hard, um, system with this CPU. So there's a couple of options here. Obviously, updating the CPU is uh, one thing, you know, you could toss it in a new processor. But why is a processor from mid-2017 unable to work? So there is a way through. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this to you right now. So why don't you go ahead and go on the internet and just search for the Windows 11 installation assistance, which, which I'll go ahead and take a look here. Just install this to actually see if there's anything getting in your way. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. You'll see this little software opens up right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, click on this little check now button where it comes to introducing Windows 11 you'll immediately see that this PC doesn't um, meet the requirements just because of the processor. Clicking on the see all results, you do see some other requirements here. Obviously memory I can understand. Secure boot might be a requirement as well. TPM 2.0, which is a requirement that some people were actually not really anticipating and something that actually got in the way as well too. Be sure to actually check out your motherboard in the BIOS to actually see if TPM may just simply be off, just uh, may need a quick firmware update for it to be fully supported or just actually just to be turned on for the most part. But unfortunately in this case, the processor is not something we can actually immediately change so easily. So let me go ahead and close this out and go back to the same page where you downloaded the installation assistant and just below you do have the option to download the ISO for Windows 11. So let's go ahead and click there. It will actually immediately tell you to go ahead and pick a Windows 11 version and just go ahead and click choose your language and just click on download. So I already do have the ISO downloaded over here. I'm going to go ahead and open up my download folder and you'll actually see it right over here. Now one little thing you want to do first is go ahead and double click on it. This is an ISO file but you'll immediately see that this actually mounted the ISO file like if it were a DVD as a D drive right over here. It could even be an E if you do have multiple hard drives. What you also do want to do is just go ahead and open up a new folder over here. And let's open up that ISO file as if we're opening up a DVD over here. And you'll see basically the Windows 11 installation here. I'm just going to go ahead and run this just to see if it actually does give me the same error message that the assistant actually gave me just for a little bit of a second opinion right there. So basically your standard Windows 11 upgrade installation, just going to go ahead and click on next. I'm currently not connected to the internet here, so no updates will actually be able to be downloaded here, which is fine, because actually I just want to demonstrate one little thing for you. It is now checking the PC, and you know what's about to pop up here any moment. Just wait for it. And same message as the uh, update assistant mentioned earlier, the processor isn't supported. So let's just go ahead and close. This is going to do a little bit of a cleanup. But what we want to do here is actually copy all the files from the ISO image file into this folder we just created. And if you're using an SSD, this should be fairly quick. Now the reason we're actually copying it over is very simple. Let me just demonstrate here. There's going to be one little change we're going to need to do on this image file in order for it to actually bypass the check, the hardware check that was actually getting in our way earlier. And that is this, uh, open up this folder called sources. I'm gonna look for a file called appraiser res or appraiser res dot dll. I would just basically gonna delete this, but in the image file, we actually don't have the option to actually delete it. So we can actually go ahead and go to basically run the installation from this folder we just created. First thing I'm gonna do, obviously, is just go ahead and unmount this uh, eject, almost as if it were a DVD, and you'll see that the ISO now is gone. Still on the download folders if we actually made a mistake anywhere, but this is actually the folder that I just copied all the files in that image file into. 
So let's go ahead and just remove that file right now. And here we are, the appraisers.dll. If you're a little worried about deleting it, well, just copy it over. So I just copy it to the desktop. It's no longer in this folder here. Well, let's go ahead and run that installation once again. Click on next. You'll see it's doing the update check again. Be sure to stay off the internet here because it may actually detect that that file is now missing and it may actually just uh, relocate it there and recover it and you'll run to the same issue again. But hey, take a look at this. You'll see now it doesn't even mention anything about hardware issues or requirements. It immediately just sends us to the EULA where you can just basically you know, spend many, many days and hours reading all this. Click accept and it seems like we are ready to actually get going for a Windows 11 upgrade. So let's go ahead and follow through on this process and let's see where we go. And you'll see now it got me to the area where you will be given the choice of actually choosing your personal files to, if you want to keep it, if you don't, you can go ahead and click here and just go ahead and actually just uncheck everything here. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the standard camera here as this computer will probably reboot at some point and uh, kick me off. So it looks like we're back here. I'm just gonna go ahead and just click on keep personal files and apps, no big deal. And just click on next. You'll see the installation process is gonna get started. I believe it will actually check if you actually are connected to the internet, it will definitely check to see if there's any updates to the installation. In this case, I'm just going to let it be and just let it run by, on its own. So this may take actually uh, quite a moment, probably involve a couple of uh, reboots and I'll see you once it's done.
Just taking a look here at the desktop, and of course you can still see here Ryzen 1700, first generation CPU running on Windows 11 successfully. After the little uh, mini hack that we actually just went ahead and did here. And I am connected to the internet now, so I'm just going to go ahead and run some updates. Just want to make sure that the updates are available. And of course, you will absolutely see updates will start popping up here as per usual. And um, basically all your the usual uh, options that you will have in Windows 11 will definitely be available to you. As you can actually see, a bunch of updates are now going to be installed. And of course, just the other usual stuff that comes with it. So it looks like this has been a pretty much a success and I hope this uh, option definitely does work for you. It does allow you to go ahead and do a, an update on uh, pretty much uh, any piece of hardware that um, does require um, that little change there. Whether it's a TPM, the CPU issue, or other options that are like, getting in the way, obviously you can go ahead and just bypass that. Now will a future update go ahead and possibly get in the way of uh, this continuing to work? There's always that possibility, unfortunately. But for the time being, you do have the option to get Windows 11 installed on the computer. So if, you know, obviously if you desire. Hope that you guys found this video useful. Shoot a like and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you have any quick questions about this. And uh, obviously this is uh, Windows 11 installation, or actually installation and update from Windows 10 on unsupported hardware. Thanks again for watching, and as always, stay safe. Just went ahead and changed the background. Obviously a solid colored background is pretty boring, so there you go.